Hey guys, welcome back to Preferred Frenchies. Thanks for tuning in again. Today we got an interesting video here for you talking about how the fluffy gene works when you're in the breeding world and you're trying to get some fluffy, some beautiful fluffies like Tesla here. Um, if you're looking at genetic types, um, you got fluffy carriers, you got full fluffies, you got short haired dogs um, in the French Bulldog breed. So today I'm gonna talk about how that breaks down, what to expect when breeding different variations to each other, where, whether it's a full fluffy to a fluffy carrier, um, to a fluffy carrier to a non-fluffy, just the whole overall aspect of breeding with the fluffy Frenchie. So stay tuned, I'll get into the DNA here in a little bit. This is Tesla here. Uh, she is an absolute sweetheart, stunner, of a blue and tan female. Um, she has wonderful markings, has had beautiful puppies in the past. We actually just had a litter about three months ago. Uh, they were born in February. Actually, it's been closer to a half year now, but um, yeah, the puppies are all doing great. She had six total puppies and they're all doing very well. They were absolutely stunning bred with a uh, money boy from Hoosier Bulls. But yeah, this is Tesla here. She'll just hang out here. I'm gonna go through the DNA here with the whiteboard, just give you a really good breakdown, um, so stay tuned. Okay guys, getting into some uh, different genetic variations here. Um, I'll just go through each one here, show you what, what each one means. So right here, we have a fluffy carrier bred to a non-fluffy puppy. Um, then we have uh, two visual fluffies, full fluffies here, bred to each other. We have um, two fluffy carriers bred to each other, and then a full fluffy bred to a non-fluffy. So um, with the genotype, typically you have LH um, or LH1, LH4, um, sorry, there's LH, yeah, LH1 and LH4 are the two main variations with French Bulldogs. And we're using a genetic punnet square here, just going through, talking about how each one comes up with different percentages. Um, we have the one pairing up here. So let's say, let's say this one here is uh, the female and this is the male. So we have a non-fluffy or female bred to a fluffy carrier here. So just going through connecting each one, right here we have a non-fluffy, non-fluffy and then we'd have uh, two fluffy carriers here. <clears throat> so basically, that would give you a shot of having two fluffy carriers out of a combination of having a fluffy carrier bred to a non-fluffy. So you'd have a 50% chance of having fluffy carriers. That's not showing fluffy, it's not visual fluffy, it's just the opportunity of possibly pr producing fluffies in the future. Um, so you'd have two fluffy carriers here at the bottom, you got non-fluffies up top, so 50% of those puppies would have, uh, potentially have um, a copy of Fluffy. So moving on to this pairing, um, again going through, this is two visual Fluffies, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, you got LH, 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 LH. So 100% of the puppies will be full Fluffy out of a pairing of two visual Fluffy French Bulldogs. So to uh, the males of full fluffy, the fe or females of full fluffy, you get a combination of both. The genes match up. It doesn't matter if it's LH1 or if it's LH4, it'll still produce full fluffy Frenchies. So um, going on down the line here, we got two fluffy carriers and this is where a lot of people kind of get, get it mixed up, seeing where the percentages are, um, just not getting a good feel for it. So uh, this is supposed to be an H. My handwriting's not 100% uh, the best for sure. So going through here, you got a non-fluffy chance, and then you have a fluffy carrier chance, and then you got a, not, a fluffy carrier here as well. Um, and then here, you have an opportunity of having um, a full fluffy. You got two lowercase it's the same thing, so we'll go um, LH. Sorry, this should be a, a lowercase here. So you'd have a 25% chance of having a non-fluffy. You'd have a 50% chance of having um, a fluffy carrier. 
and a 25% chance of having a full fluffy. Um, so in a litter of four, that's potentially what it could look like. You might have one full fluffy pup, um, and you'd, you'd typically at a young age, you'll still need to do testing just to make sure. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit deceiving when you're having puppies, but most times you can get a good feel around two weeks if they're fluffy or not. Um, but you kind of get a good, good visualization of what that could potentially look like. Um, and then moving on here, you got a full fluffy Frenchie bred to a non-fluffy. Um, this is just, this pretty straightforward. Um, so you got LN, LN, you got um, HN, HN, kind of confusing uh, with the H and N there. Um, but yeah, so you got all fluffy carriers out of that group. Since one of the parties is full fluffy, um, you bred to a non-fluffy, you get full fluffy carriers throughout. You don't have the opportunity of having um, a full fluffy, um, but you do have um, a really good, you know, obviously everyone would be a fluffy carrier. So again, guys, going through here, going with each pairing here, talking about each one uh, with both combinations. So we have a fluffy carrier bred to a non-fluffy. Uh, so you have um, no chances of having a full fluffy, but you do have a 50-50 shot at getting a fluffy carrier. So you have 50% possibly carrying one copy of fluffy, 50% would probably not have a carrying gene of that. Then moving on to both visual fluffy Frenchies bred to each other, you have a 100% chance of getting visual fluffy French Bulldogs. Again, it doesn't matter if it's LH1 or if it's LH4, um, it's still the same thing, uh, still produces, it's not the same thing, but it still produces the same um, coat. So moving on here, you got uh, two fluffy carriers bred to each other, one of the more confusing ones. Um, you got a 25% chance of having non-fluffy, just completely no fluffy, um, then a 50% chance of getting a fluffy carrier, and a 25% chance of having a full visual fluffy Frenchie. Um, so this is the combination of a fluffy carrier to a fluffy carrier. And then you got a full fluffy bred to a non-fluffy French Bulldog. So you got um, a 100% chance of these puppies having a fluffy carrier gene. Um, and but no visual, so you won't get a visual fluffy French Bulldog from a combination of a uh, visual fluffy bred to a non-fluffy. So again guys, that's the breakdown for the DNA when it comes to uh, the fluffy gene with French Bulldogs. So thanks for tuning in today guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Feel free to check out um, our website. It's preferredfrenchies.com. We also have a couple different um, Instagram pages. We have Preferred Frenchies, and then we also has, have Izzy the Preferred Frenchies. She's an Isabella New Shade Carrier. Um, she is absolutely stunning, and we do hope to have puppies here coming up. Um, but yeah, this should be, come here Tesla. You got your foot tangled up. Uh, this should be a really good help for you if you're looking to have puppies in the future. Uh, so feel free to reach out to me. My number's everywhere here. I'll have my number down below as well if you want to shoot me a call. But thanks for tuning in today, and we'll see you next time.